Welcome to the Ensitec TIGBRUSH TBX700 and TBE700 instructional training video. The TBX700 and TBE700 kit contents are the same and consist of the following. One TIGBRUSH machine, one red cable combo, one black cable and clamp, one weld cleaning fluid in one litre, one neutralising fluid in one litre, one 210 or 240 volt power cord, one wand assembly, 12 brushes, one single brush shroud, one dual brush shroud, one quad brush shroud, one dual brush adapter and one quad brush adapter. This list of contents can also be found on the Ensitec Quick Start Guide enclosed in the packaging for quick reference. This is a flow diagram for the assembly of the TIG brush that can also be found on the TIG brush quick start guide enclosed in the packaging for quick reference and the following quick video of how to assemble. Firstly, you must connect the power cable to the machine. You will find the voltage in female socket located at the back of the unit. Push the power cable in firmly. The power cable then must be plugged into your mains power socket. You must now insert the black earth cable into the black earth socket located at the front of the unit and turn the fitting clockwise to lock. Now insert the red cable combo into the red brush socket located at the front of the unit and turn the fitting clockwise to lock. Using your wand assembly, screw clockwise into the red cable's handle until tightened firmly as shown. Now place the brush into the Teflon shroud and screw this combination clockwise into the wand assembly making sure it's tightened firmly. It is extremely important at all times that the Teflon insulating shroud must be fitted to the brush or adapter when using the TIG brush. Failure to do so may cause the machine to overload if the copper on the brush touches your workpiece. Damage to the TIG brush with evidence of no shroud used will not be covered under the warranty. To use the dual or quad brush, you must screw the brushes clockwise into the adapter firmly. Then placing the Teflon shroud over the adapter and screwing the adapter clockwise into the wand assembly, making sure it's tightened firmly. You are now ready to use the TIG brush. We will now show you the different power and mode settings. These settings consist of the power settings and the mode settings. In the power settings, the three settings are standby, single brush and multi brush. In the mode settings, the three settings are clean, restore or polish and mark. Following is a video of turning the unit on and using the settings. Please note that the Ensitec TIG brush will passivate on both the clean and restore or polish modes. At the back of the unit, press the power button, it will light up red. In the power setting, when the TIG brush power dial is positioned on the standby setting, the machine is still turned on but there is no power to the brush until switched to single brush or the multi brush setting. A green LED on each setting will be illuminated when the power dial is positioned on the required setting. The single brush setting is used when only one brush is fitted to the wand assembly. Once the power dial is switched from the standby mode, the machine has power to the brush. A green LED will be illuminated on the below modes for selection to either clean, restore or polish, or mark. The multi-brush setting is used when two or four brushes are fitted to the wand assembly. Once the power dial is switched from the standby mode, the machine has power to the brushes. And as the single brush mode, 
a green LED will be illuminated on the below modes for selection to either clean, restore or polish, or mark. In mode setting, the clean mode can be used with either the single brush or the multi brush setting to remove the heat affected zone and passivate stainless steel. This mode will not affect the machine finish to the stainless steel, e.g. brushed, 2B and polished stainless. Using the Entertech weld cleaning fluid provided, pour the fluid into a small container. Connect the earth clamp to your workpiece. Dip the brush into the weld cleaning fluid, making sure you wet the entire brush completely, brushing off any excess fluid that may drip. Place the brush tip only onto the heat affected area lightly and using small circular motions, work your way over the area to be cleaned and passivated. Then rinse off with water thoroughly. Here's a helpful hint for better results and longer brush life. Don't press hard. For greater efficiency and speed, use the tip of the brush only. Please note the two diagrams either side for reference. Note in this video that the brush is lightly touching the workpiece to clean and passivate. And in this video, the brush is heavily touching the workpiece, causing the brush to become damaged and arc on the job, reducing its life. In mode setting, the restore mode can be used with either the single brush or multi brush setting to polish and passivate stainless steel. This mode will polish stainless up to a mirror finish. Dip the brush into the weld cleaning fluid, making sure you wet the entire brush completely, brushing off any excess fluid that may drip. Place the brush tip only onto the area polishing is required and using small circular motions, work your way over the area to be polished. Then rinse off with water thoroughly to reveal the polished area. In mode setting, the marking mode is used for indelibly printing logos, part numbers and any information onto stainless steel. To use the marking mode, you must have the Entitec marking kit and stencil or stencil printer to successfully mark. Using the Entitec marking fluid TB90, pour the fluid into a small container. Screw the carbon electrode for marking clockwise into the red cable's handle until tightened firmly as shown. Place a 50mm length of heatproof felt with the soft side showing onto the electrode and secure with the neoprene o-ring. Now dip the marking head assembly into the marking fluid ensuring that the felt is wet. With your heat resistant stencil, place it onto the area to be marked or printed. Secure with masking tape to stop the stencil from moving during the marking process. Connect the earth clamp to your workpiece. Now run the marking head over the stencil with slight pressure for between 8 and 10 seconds making sure you have run over every part of the printable area. Finally, remove your stencil and rinse the printed area. Thank you for learning to use the world's leading electro-passivation machine, the Ensitec TIG brush. For further information, training or sales inquiries, please contact us at www.tigbrush.com.